Welcome to Virtualize Everything, and welcome to part two of setting up an SSD cache on your ZFS pool. This video has been a little late to come, and I apologize to that. We have experienced multiple technical difficulties, from recording equipment to system failures. You will now hear some hard drive noises in the background. I apologize for that. We have recently done a full hard drive upgrade for our demo server and it is a little bit noisier but with that noise i've gained a little bit of performance that is much needed on this old system so here we go with today's video i have gone ahead and set up a number of drives in this vm so we can demo a zfs pool along with an ssd the same as we did in part one so now moving over to the actual Proxmox server where we're doing the demo, you can see that I have set up already a ZFS pool in a RAID Z1. We've called it part two today. And if we look at the details, there are no cache drives or log drives applied at this time. But you can see the three individual drives that you saw back here set up. Note. The third drive is the system drive for this system. This is not the ZFS setup that Proxmox is installed on. Proxmox here, in this case, is an installed on its own independent drive. But the steps in today's video will be the same if your Proxmox install is done on a ZFS pool. So now, moving back to the system, we can open up our shell, which I have already done so here, and begin with typing an ls blk command so we can identify our SSD's name. Today, for this video tutorial, it's going to be called SDE. Now that we know the name of our ZFS pool and the name of the SSD that we want to turn into our write cache drive, we can begin the process of creating our L2 ARC, or Adaptive Replacement Cache Level 2. This works just like your Level 1 Adaptive Replacement Cache, where it caches frequently read files or files that anticipated to be read after the file that you're reading at the present moment to speed up the read process by making your read sequential instead of random. So now that that is said and we have identified everything, we can enter the command to actually set up our level 2 ARC. The command is going to be z pool add then the name of the pool, which today is going to be part two, then cache, followed finally by the name of the SSD, SDE. And since I typed everything correct, you notice we just reset to the next command field. But if we go over back to our Proxmox web interface for the server that we're working on today, and click details, you will now see that cache appears and the drive has been added. That is how simple it is to add a level two adaptive replacement read cache to your ZFS array. I hope you enjoyed tonight's video, found it useful, and also will consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this video to help virtualize everything, bring more content, for everyone to enjoy on virtualization. As always, have a good night.